Anthony, we're here in Banff, uh, mm -hmm. beautiful area, FQXI conference. This is uh, your fifth, my fourth. Yep. Uh, physics of the observer, physics of what happens. Uh, why is the physics of what happens, which seems very pedestrian, mm -hmm. a, a, a relevant subject for FQXI? Yeah, it's a, it's a great question because, you know, you, the Foundational Questions Institute was sort of made to think of these big cosmic questions, you know, what is the nature of time and parallel universes and sort of what happens? Well, you know, snap my fingers, something <laughs> happens, uh, what's the big deal? But, yeah. but part of our sort of mission is also to look into those really, like kind of lift up the rug and look underneath, open the closet and see what skeletons are in there of the, the everyday things that when you really look into them are not so simple to understand. So, so something happening you know we have this very clear sense of it you know I snap it happened I can't unsnap I can't yeah. undo that you know if I crack an egg I can't uncrack it so there are all these attributes that events have they they happen you know they don't unhappen they uh, they happen at a certain time and place uh, there are things generally that may or may not be observed but we we think that when something happens there's this sort of fact either it happened or it didn't you know yes or no um, and so those are things that we experience and we're used to that. But then when we look at fundamental physics, you know, we might look at just protons and electrons flying through the universe, or we might look at quantum mechanics and there's a wave function that's evolving. And wherever you look with protons and electrons flying or wave function evolving, Which nothing the happens. The probability of where right. things could happen. Right, the wave function is this quantum mechanical entity that tells you what's the probability for where, say, a proton is or an electron is. So, so we don't know for sure, we just have these probabilities. But whether we think of the probabilities of where electrons are, or even assume that there are definite electrons, like, like Newton would have if he knew what electrons were, mm -hmm. um, nothing happens. You know, the electrons move along, the protons move along, the, you know, the wave function evolves. There's nothing happening. There's nothing that you know really happens at a particular time or place if you run the camera backwards it looks just the same it looks like a wave function evolving it looks like protons flying around so somehow the universe that we think is fundamentally described by this evolving wave function or flying around atoms uh somehow out of that all of this happening takes place discrete events that we say happened and can't unhappen right things things that are irreversible things that uh, are a sort of objective reality, things that we can point to and say that happened instead of that, and this happened and that and didn't happen. the sequence of which happened first. Yeah. And when you start to analyze, well, how do we get from this description that fundamental physics gives us to this description that is our everyday life, you have no idea how to do it. Nobody knows how to do it. <laughs> so, so that's sort of what we're here to figure out. And, and if you think about it, events are the character of the, the universe itself. So this is the most fundamental question. Everything is made of events when you think about it. You know, right. When you talk about uh, your life, it's, it's sort of a sequence of events that you the experience. Universe, so it could be even multiple universes. Yep. It's, a, it's a sequence of the events. creations of universes, stars forming, planets forming, life arising on Earth. These are all events. It's like the, the fabric of reality that we experience, and yet it's nowhere in fundamental physics. And how you get from the probabilities collectively of the, all, all the elements to the actual events. Right. So this is what you're going to do, you're going to discover in the next few days. <laughs> well, well, we'll maybe make some progress. So, so you know, I it's a little unfair to say we know nothing about yeah. this. Um, so, you know, the a major part of quantum mechanics that is uh, this description of of tiny objects and ti and you know individual particles. We can only describe them in terms of their probabilities. So we have this entity, the wave function, that describes the probability for particles being here or there. And then we say, we measure the particle, and it's here or there. So that's in some sense an event, right? Something happened, we measured it, and then after that we can't unmeasure it. Once we know where the particle is, we can't put it back in the wave function. Mm -hmm. We've destroyed something, mm -hmm. in fact, when we've done that measurement. And so one sort of basic idea of an event that comes out of quantum mechanics is when you measure something, when you make a quantum measurement, that's an event. Now that would be great if we understood what quantum measurement meant, but we don't. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it's progress of a sort. You know, we do have events that, that are part of fundamental physics, but they raise almost as many questions as they sort of answer. They're that's just, the whole purpose of FQXI. 
Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so replace seemingly boring questions with really more interesting ones or replace interesting questions with even more interesting ones. And they're all fundamental to what happens everywhere. Yeah. In, in this case, the, in, in terms of events, it, it sort of takes a wide range. It can go from you know, events that are the, the tiny quantum mechanical ones to the creation of a universe.